I just got back from the grocery store and when I pulled into my driveway, I saw water flooding out of the garage. And immediately I thought that the house flooded. So I ran inside and luckily the house was okay, but I found a pipe that burst in my garage and had flooded everything in the garage. So I have found out a way to temporarily fix this and restore water back to my house and I want to share it with you guys in the event that you have a pipe burst and you need to wait a couple days before a plumber can get to you. Hopefully this will help you. Here are the tools that you are going to need. You are going to need a water key. This one is called a curb key as well as this kit. I also found this in the plumbing section of Lowe's. It's called a power wrap and some scissors. Your first priority when you've had like some type of pipe burst is get the water off. You wanna do that as soon as possible so that you can minimize any flooding if it's already occurred. Locate your like main water meter. As you can see, this one sits right at the edge of my yard and it's in between my house and my neighbor's house. So there are two meters in here. My house is on this side. Now the reason that you have to get one of these water keys is because these are very difficult to turn. You can't do it with a wrench. So you really need to get this in order to have the leverage to turn it. If you'll come down here, you can see there's this little dial here and this will be spinning really fast when water is running. And this piece right here, this shows whether the water is on or off. So we will use our water key. We'll take this little piece right here. We'll put it on this little piece that has an arrow and that will allow us to turn it either way and we'll shut it off. This little dial that's an arrow will stop spinning. Your first step after getting your water turned off is free up the area. As you can see, when, when it was leaking, this sheetrock was here, but it was so saturated with water I didn't need to cut it, I was able to pull it right off. When it was leaking, this insulation was already also around the pipe, and that's what I had to use my scissors for. I had to cut this insulation off so that I had access to the leak. I got this, it came in a box, it was about $14 at Lowe's, and it was very easy to use. As you can see, we're just bandaging up the pipe. So the first thing that you'll do, you'll put on the gloves. It does have a smell to it as well, so I just wore a mask. And you knead the putty, and you'll mix it together to cause some type of chemical reaction. And you put that on the pipe, pour water like on the wrap, and it gets very sticky and tacky as well. And you wrap the area. So as you can see, when I was doing this, my pipe burst right here. It was a very small area, but the instructions said to make sure that you do about two inches of wrap on each side because this will make sure that nothing can get through. Now, once you start wrapping it, you will probably wrap this part about 15 times. So it is a lot of wrapping involved. I did kind of have to cut back this insulation as well, just to make sure that I could get around the pipe. Then for the next 15 minutes, I consistently had to continue to go like this and move my hands around the pipe so that it continued to cure in the way that my wrap was going because it will kind of bubble and loosen up. And that's very important. By the time that the 15 minutes was up and I set a timer, it was really starting to harden, so I knew the time was up. Um, but now, I mean, this thing feels rock solid and I'm not seeing any signs of drips. I do have the main water back turned on. Now remember, this is only a temporary fix. Arkansas does not experience snow or cold weather to this extent, and I believe that that's why this happened. But because this is a rarity to us, the plumbers are very backed up. So our plumber will likely be here on Monday to permanently fix this. But in the meantime, like I had to sponge bathe myself this morning because the water was turned off. I'm very happy to have access to the regular water again and not have to melt snow. So if you are looking for a temporary fix for your any bursted pipes until plumbers can get to you, I highly recommend you pick up one of these kits. Hopefully this helps you and I hope that you are not wet for too long.